Hello, this is Chad Like One, and this is going to be my first tutorial on UDK script and how to make a melee attack animation in UDK script. Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and with this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already know how to um, set up UDK scripts, how to set up a weapons class, and I'm assuming you guys are going to be using. Visual Studio 2008 or 2010, and of course the UDK editor having installed. All right, let's begin the tutorial. So, and what I've actually created here is a class called Class UT Web Sword Extending UT Weapon. Of course, that's a weapons class, just an extension of it. And of course, I'm going to use be using the mesh inside of UDK for the sword, and I'll definitely show you here in just a moment. Let's see here. It's usually the one that usually comes with it, so it's this one right here in particular. So let's begin here. Let's see. Alright, of course, what you see here is the actual third person mesh and the first person mesh. And also, what I actually made it for an instant hit for the actual primary fire, of course, and the distance is pretty close, but yet kind of long for the actual sword range. And the weapons fire type 1 is the ultimate fire, which is your right click. Which is, I made a projectile, which is a fireball class, which I will show you later how to do that option for an animation. So let's go back up here. Of course, you're going to notice the actual function I put right above the default property is called fire ammunition. So, what this means is what's going on here is um, that's basically what's um, mixed of ammunition fire from the actual weapon. It also has a play fire sound and other options to protect the actual spawn. And um, what it actually has below it is an inventory manager to have an advance to have fired weapon. And below it, you're going to definitely see this here is a UT Pawn Instigator Play Emote Melee Fire minus one. Basically, what this is telling the um, UDK script is UT Pawn, which is you, instigate or trigger Play Emote which is the animation called melee fire and how many times minus one basically what I put minus one in here for is because um, if you put um, one or zero um, if you put zero in particular it's not going to play the animation whatsoever but if you put one it'll just play it once and when you hit primary fire again it won't play it again that's why I put minus one so basically it plays infinite you have an infinite amount of times to play the animation so let's go down to business here. Where did I find this? How did I know how to do this? Well, basically, kind of logic to um, I kind of fall with this option here is um, the UT Pawn Instigator, and I thought and I found an option that says Play Emote with previous weapons as well. And um, I made a tag called Melee Fire inside the thing called UT Family Info. I did a lot of research to figure out how to do this, but um. Basically, in UT Family Info, what it contains is all the animations for the Lengry Mail or any animations for all the uh, character skeleton meshes in UDK, which I will show you what it looks like here in just a moment. Not skeleton mesh. I want to go to just straight up skeleton mesh here. Let's take a look for ourselves. Let's go to the actual Cathoid. Basically, what we're going to see is a, the actual skeletal animator. Anim set editor, and if you go to Anim and click on base mail, you'll see a bunch of options for a bunch of pre made animations inside UDK. And of course, you can hit play, you can see an idol falling down. And let's go to one particular where we've been looking for is the uh, hoverboard jump start LT start. Basically, what it looks like, a kind of reason why I put this one, it kind of looks like a sword attack. Not extremely, but it's just kind of simple for the tutorial what I'm looking for. So basically, you really want to know the hoverboard jump jump LT start for the call the call animation inside the UT Family Info we're about to do here. So let's go back to um, go back to the UDK script here in just a moment. It lets me. There we go. All right. So let's go to UT Family Info, and what do we see here? Um, basically, you're going to see a bunch of variables, of course, on the top, just to call most of the object general stuff, and of course, the functions above it. 
When we go down to the default properties, you're going to see a bunch of things called family emails. And of course, the syntax is the family emails category name, which is taunt, the emote tag, taunt A, emote animation is going to play the taunt animation. And then the B top half emote equals true means basically the top half of the skeletal mesh is going to play the animation. <coughs> I have not figured out how to do the bottom animation just yet, but I will definitely uh, put in the comments on how to do the bottom animations later. Um, basically what we're going to do here is you see a bunch of them, all the, these kind of tags are put into the family emails. So basically I put my own custom family email into the UT family info called family emotes 19 which is only 18 of them inside the UDK script so I added another one for the laws. Basically I follow the same exact syntax. Basically I put the category name melee fire, emote tag melee fire. The reason I put both of the same thing because they're both melee fires anyways. But in particular you want to put the emote tag to call for this little um, line of code here. Um, if you put it, if you actually call this one of course it's not going to work because look, you know, the reason why I put a category, you know, status, 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 you're not going to put status, you won't know what the hell to put in there. So of course you want to put the melee fire. Anyways, of course the e won't animation, like I said before, the hover jump, the hoverboard jump LT start. You call that animation in the actual anim set. And of course the B top half emote equals true, we've already said that only the top half of the skeleton mesh will play the animation. And um, basically that's all I had to do is plug it into that with this actual function. And let's see here. What I did here for this uh, tutorial, um, I made my own class for my game. I mean, you don't really have to, but what I did is uh, default inventory zero. Your default, your first weapon inventory is your is the actual UT Web Sword class. You can actually just put in the UDK um, when you make your actual weapons option. You should know how to um, use the pickup pick up factory to pick up a weapon. So let's go into UDK and take a look at uh, how this is going to go through. So this is basically my default map, I mean, nothing too special, um, there's a little bit of mountains, a little bit of textures here and there. Alright, let's take a look. Of course you see the button in hand, and when I hit the left, left click, of course it's play the animation. And as well it does for right click as well with my projectile class. That's my like, fireball, but it's something for now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, and I'll definitely make more videos. And please comment on the video if you have any questions.